Hi guys, it's Romina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing this summery floral manicure with reverse stamping using the new Holo Taco collection. This is electric hollows and look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and let's get started. First, I'll be applying my base coat. Today I'm using the peel off base coat from UNT and as a base color, I'll be using the silver shade Circuit Breaker. This base is gonna make the colors pop, but you can also use white. I didn't want to have that strong contrast between the colors and a white base, so that's why I end up using this one. For the stamping part, I'll be using the Uber Cheek Nice and Negative with these two floral designs. And as I wanted to use all the polishes from this collection, I decided to stamp with Electrostatic, which is not a stamping polish, but it's a black holographic polish. So let's see how that works. And it worked. <laughs> it was very good, the pickup, even though it's not as strong as it would be in a stamping polish, but it's close enough. Then I'll be filling in the image with the rest of the collection with hot wire pink, with full charge, and with the aqua shade Hydro Power. And if you haven't seen my video on that collection, I will link it here in the cards and also in the description below so you can check that out. And also, if this is your first time stamping, I will recommend you to check my videos on stamping for beginners and also reverse stamping and troubleshooting for stamping. And I receive a lot of questions about stamping, so I'm making a playlist in my channel with all the videos that I think will be helpful for people who are just starting or people who are just having trouble stamping. It's uh, my favorite technique, I do it all the time and you have a lot of videos on my channel too where I show you different techniques and different designs so you can check those out too. So here I'm just filling in the design. I decided to go with the pink on the center for that flower because I really want it to pop in my middle finger and here is what it looks like when you finish it. And it's possible that you're gonna have some patchiness because the the consistency of this polishes. So that's why I decided to go with the silver base and not white because otherwise those parts are really gonna pop and are gonna look white, which is not part of the color palette that we're using. So that's why I decided to go for the silver because it's not it's not too strong the contrast and if you have those patchiness or those space that you didn't fill in with with the, the polishes it's gonna look good it's not gonna be noticeable and I already apply one coat of the Orly Bondar just to get the stickiness back into my nail and then I stamp the design over it so for my ring finger I'm gonna be using the other design which is kinda the same pattern but it has smaller flowers and I'm just gonna pick it up with the same black nail polish and I'm just gonna fill it in with the other colors. And in this part I had to be careful because the pattern is super small so if I do the coats too thick they're gonna get bumpy in the nail. So it's important that you keep it with one coat or if you're using two coats just make it as thin as possible. And so here I'm using the other three colors of the collection and I'm just applying again one coat of the Orly Bonder. You have to let it dry around 30 seconds to 45 and then you can stab over it. So I already used the wooden stick I showed you in the previous nail just to cut the borders and then with some tweezer I'm just gonna remove them. I'm gonna repeat the same process for my index but this time instead of the green flower I'm gonna be using the aqua shade so I wanted to just be in the same place so make sure that the way that you put the stamper is the same one that you did the last nail. So here in the ring finger as you see there is a green flower just on top and in this case I just painted with the aqua shade. So now for my pinky I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna paint the flower pink. So we're gonna use one color on each nail so every nail will be different. And for the thumb I'm gonna use the same design that I used for my middle finger, the big flower, and I'm just gonna repeat the same process as the other nails. But this time I'm also changing the color so the previous one was pink on the center and this time I just reversed the order of the colors so the flower will be aqua and the other colors will be around it. So here I'm just stamping in my thumb. You have to be very careful, sometimes you can get some wrinkles 
in this case I got some here in the corner it could be two things that the polish wasn't completely dry on my stamper so it cannot move when I press it down or it can be that I made the coats too thick so it kind of get like bumpy in some parts and thinner in the others so that creates some wrinkles and with a scotch tape I'm just gonna take off the the, the excess from this nail and this is what it's gonna look like so to finish I'm just gonna apply the glossy top coat this is good to go from Essie and as you can see all the imperfections are gonna be smoothed out by this uh, top coat so it doesn't matter really if you have some wrinkles in the design and you can see also how the colors really pop after the glossy top coat so I really love that and here last step as always applying my cuticle oil and this is the final result what do you think i really loved it i think the combination of the color is absolutely gorgeous and under the flashlight you can see all the holographic particles shine here are the pictures for this manicure i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye